Good afternoon. Um, I'm doing my book review this week, and the book is She Is She Is Not Your Rehab. As you can see on the cover, it's available in the school library. And uh, yeah, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the book now this afternoon. One evening during the last holiday, um, I was watching the project on TV, and Matt Brown was a guest on the show. Um, he was being interviewed about his book, She Is Not Your Rehab. I liked what he had to say and was more interested uh, interested to hear more from him, so I managed to buy a copy of this book during the last holiday. On the surface, Matt Brown is just an ordinary Kiwi. He owns his own barber shop, but it's a barber shop with a, with a difference. He has found that many of his clients open up to him, and instead of small, small talk that usually happens between a barber and their client, people seem to trust him and were starting to open up to him about many of their personal issues. As he comes from a tight-knit community, many of his clients are personal friends, and in many cases, he knows a lot about these circumstances. Through these many conversations in the chair, he came to realize that many of his clients have lived a hard life, just like he did. You see, Matt grew up in a family with an alcoholic father who physically and mentally abused his wife and sons. His mother, though des trying desperately to pre protect her sons, also took out her frustrations on the boys. His mother, so he lived in a constant fear of beatings and ridicule, which occurred on a regular basis. Not just from his parents, but also from the wider family circle. He felt inadequate in all that he did, and while he tried to put on a brave face, he felt totally insecure and unloved. Needless to say, he suffered from very low self-esteem and feelings of hopelessness. And I think many of us can relate to that at some time or another. Because of this, he could easily sympathize with the sad and often shocking stories his clients would share about their problems. A common theme surfaced. Insecurities caused by abusive upbringings seem to be the root cause of many of his clients' problems in their present day lives. And despite growing up feeling like they would never do this to anybody else, many of them were taking out their problems on the people closest to them. In most cases, the abusive behavior towards the woman in their lives was the norm. And it, it's, it's worth noting that this abusive behavior isn't always physical in nature. Very often, it's verbal abuse and psychological abuse of the people closest to them. I quote Matt, If you were anything like me and grew up with hurt parents who then manifested their hurt onto you, there will be a pain and a sadness that has existed in you for a long, long time. So long that you probably don't know how to feel any other way. Matt believes that cycles repeat until one person has the courage to say, this stops with me. He decided that he's going to be that person. In his words, he said, either you transform your negative feelings or you will transmit them onto those closest to you. So in other words, change your negative feelings or you will pass them on and take them out on the people closest to you. The vast majority of stories Matt recounts have a common theme of abuse towards their partners. The wives and girlfriends seem to bear the brunt of the destructive tendencies. The names of the chapters in the book are very revealing, and a few examples are She is not your punching bag. Obviously, this relates to violent, physical violence. She is not yours to control is another chapter. She is not yours to shame. And she is not yours, your trauma. Reading this book has been a very thought-provoking awakening for me. While I have been very fortunate not to have endured an abusive upbringing, it has made me realize that there are far too many people around us that have had the most horrific things happen to them. More often than not, these atrocities are committed by the very people who are meant to protect them from abuse. It may be you, it may be your friend, your classmate. All I ask is that you be aware that things are not always what they seem to, seem to be and to consider your actions very carefully towards the people around you. I would highly recommend reading She Is Not Your Rehab. 
It has opened my eyes to a dark reality that exists in far more people's lives than we realize. Whether it resonates with your current situation or helps you better understand what other people are going through in their lives, it is a most worthwhile read. I never thought that, at my age, I would consider myself naive. Well, this book has certainly made me feel that way. Get along to the library and read this book. It will change your outlook on a sensitive issue that affects a great deal of us. Thanks. I hope you enjoy the book. Cheers.